The success of today's West Texas cotton cooperatives and the economic benefits they provide their grower owners is attributed to the vision and relentless leadership of one man, Roy B. Davis. A graduate of Lubbock High School and Texas A&M University, Mr. Davis was a county agricultural extension agent in West Texas from 1927 to 1932 before he embarked on a co-op career and adopted the co-op philosophy as his own. From 1943 until his retirement in 1971, Mr. Davis was general manager of Plains Cooperative Oil Mill, where he helped create many local and regional cotton co-ops that forever changed the trajectory of the Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas cotton industry. The system of interlocking cooperatives created by Davis's vision redefined the nature of the processing and marketing of cotton grown in remote areas of the Southwest U.S. The success of the cooperative business model led to innovations from regional co-ops such as high volume instrument classing, electronic warehouse receipts, and online marketing. Even today, farmers across the area benefit from Davis's legacy of bringing people together to accomplish seemingly impossible goals. Granddad was always the kind that, you know, uh, spoke softly and carried a big stick. He was a very humble person. Uh, and I think a lot of that was because he was focused outward. He was focused on how to make a better life for the farmers, how to improve the industry, and um, not just on himself. And so. Um, he never looked at himself as a big man, uh, but I think other people just admired him and we all admired him. He was just a um, genuine, down-to-earth gentleman who, who attracted leadership. He had leadership qualities which brought people uh, together and he had that uh, that ability to unite people, to get them behind a common goal. He worked behind the scenes. I never saw him seek prominence for himself. He was a very deep thinker, and he was very shrewd about how to handle people. And, and he, was, he, was, he was very honest, and he wasn't, he, he'd tell you what he thought. You didn't have to worry about what Mr. Davis thought about something. But uh, I, I had the pleasure of working with him. Uh, as you know, the oil mill was here first, and so his first vision was we needed a co-op compress. He was very instrumental in getting that going. And then after the co-op compress, PCCA, he was a, a pusher for that to get a cotton marketing association going. In fact, his son, Dan Davis, was, I think, one of the first managers. I, I would say that I'd want people to know that um, Roy Davis was a, was a really good man. He had high values. He was honest, he was fair, but most of all, he was a very hard worker. He did not have a time limit. He didn't have a set number of hours. He stayed as long as it took to get the job done. It just seemed that, uh, that his accomplishments were so great, so large. And Roy B. was not, a, of course, a large man. He was of moderate stature. And he did indeed welcome the giants of commerce and, and government at the highest levels of government, both state and nationally. He taught me that, that um, agriculture is the backbone of West Texas and of our, our economy and how important it is to support the farmers and, and that uh, they can preserve their way of life. Uh, we grew up in, in uh, both on the, the producer side and the cooperative side, and and he, you could, I mean, it was just so important to him that uh, your influence not just be local, but reach as far as you can, uh, and for farmers to stick together and and um, preserve that way of life. Roy B. Davis was a true pioneer, 
that forever improved the lives of those he influenced and encouraged to achieve more by working together. May future generations be inspired to uphold his fearless spirit as we tackle the challenges and the opportunities of the future.